Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Let's talk about it, Media 21. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and please hit the notification bell. That way, every time I upload a video, you will be the first one to see it. No, all comments are alleged in our opinion and for entertainment purposes only. Fair use, fair use, fair use. Today we're talking about it's in the headline from the Sun, headed for a split. Kim Kardashian friends are concerned about the future with Pete Davis after the big move to Australia. If you check out my most recent videos for the last few days, and all comments are alleged, it's up to her who she wants to date. This is just a recap and a review from what the Sun is talking about. Many people have been speaking about whether or not the photos of them being together are old or new, but here nor there. Why is she dating a man, a man that's not at her exact caliber? Pete has been booking many jobs, allegedly. Pete has been doing a little bit better, but a lot of people are kind of making fun of her saying, hey babe, do you want to take a shower with me? And some people were saying, was she trying to make fun of him needing to take a shower? That was kind of, you know, what some of the comments were saying. You know, here nor there, we don't know what the situation was. Some are allegedly saying, was she trying to allegedly make Kanye jealous? And understand, Kanye's been busy making money moves, making big deals. He's in meetings. He's doing what he has to do to brighten his future. Many people have also said that Kim is allegedly trying to change into something she thinks Pete wants. For the last several years, it's been more so combined with looking like someone of a different descent. Now, her skin's a little bit more pale, but either here nor there, whether she wants to tan, not tan, here nor there, it's her life. This video is not to embarrass or shame. But many people have been asking, it's kind of scary what the situation will be like if she does break up with Pete. Because we all know, allegedly, how he has acted in regards to after he breaks up with young ladies. He's mentioned his medical concerns. I won't mention them what they are. But some people are saying, was this a good fit? In the most recent The Kardashians trailer, he's been a part of the trailer. So were they using him for a storyline? Will she allegedly break up with him? Is this a good fit? Now, no. They're stating that Kim, uh, Pete is a millionaire. Kim is allegedly a billionaire. There's many, many stories going around about that. But here nor there, all allegations are alleged. I don't know what this person's finances are. I don't know if there's trouble in paradise. But many people weren't really feeling allegedly Pete. And they've been trying to do this media press and media tour and media, media, media. Every two weeks, every week, there was different stories. Oh, people trying to promote, he's such a great guy. Oh, they make such a great couple. People aren't forgetting his alleged jokes. People aren't forgetting how he has been with alleged exes. And then, of course, there was the story of allegedly him dating some actress or singer. I don't know which one. But here nor there, there was alleged comments about that. So there hasn't been that much great press. In a most recent video, I'm going to post probably tomorrow or later on today. Pete did an interview with Kevin Hart. And he was speaking about wanting to have children. Now, mind you, he's wanting to have children, but not wanting to get married. Don't you think that's a little bit backwards? Oh, I want to be in a committed relationship. It wasn't said this way. Oh, I want to be in a committed relationship. Oh, I want to fall in love and get married. Oh, I want to, at some point, two or three years down the line, have children. He basically, in the clip, he basically was saying he wants to have kids. But it didn't seem like any attachment to it. But a lot of people were saying, regarding his alleged jokes, and, you know, 
him allowing a child to sit on his lap after you know i think the alleged jokes were like two or three four or five years ago i don't know when the jokes were made but people were concerned they didn't like that north was sitting on his lap period people didn't like it because you figure that could have been a private moment at any of the k's houses that could have happened in their driveways their drivers are huge that did not have to be posted but it was for a reaction so they got a reaction and a lot of people called Kim out saying bad mood and it looked like they were allegedly trying to gaslight Kanye but here nor there we're not in these people's lives like Kanye's making straight up so many deals he's on his grind he's taking care of business he is focused while he's making business deals these two are are taking pictures and not a lot of great press allegedly has been coming out it's been sad that ever since she's been dating him i've been seeing alleged more bad press than ever and here nor there it's all alleged some of these sources may be actual sources some of these sources may be correct some of these sources may be false i don't know but i i recap and review from them so let me know in the comments how you feel about if friends are really concerned or is this a way for Kim to start trying to break away from Pete because he's a millionaire but he's not a billionaire he's getting different you know business deals but he's not at the same caliber and then of course she's been talking different and a lot of people are saying what is her team doing with her brand her brand and the things that she's been saying Oh, he took me out for ice cream. I got so excited. Oh, I got so excited when I was cleaning up my kid's room. Oh, I'll just eat about anything to stay young. Ugh. Who signed her up for making those comments? But well wishes, though. Here nor there, all comments are alleged. Well wishes. We don't know what's going to happen. Will she stay with this guy? Will he end up in the Hulu Kardashian season? Who knows? But they've been trying to say, that, oh, they make such a great couple. And, oh, he treats her so great. Every beginning of a relationship is something great. But here or there, I don't know if he's at the same caliber. I don't even know his true bank account. But a lot of people are concerned that Kim is grabbing at alleged straws, trying to stay young, youthful, trying to stay in the media. And people are saying maybe she needs to take a step back. Maybe she needs to look at her team and say, hey, I need to focus more on my brand. And there's too many things that's going on every week. They're posting something. Is she obsessed with social media? Is she obsessed with media, period? Is she obsessed with posting and versus taking all these pictures? Maybe she needs to focus more on her brand. Allegedly, if you check out the most recent video I did, allegedly one of the housekeepers are coming after her because... They're tired of the back and forth. Now, will that get settled? And then allegedly, you know, what's going to happen in regards to the SKKN? You know, we don't know. I mean, you know, will Lori Harvey do something about it as well? I don't know. But here nor there, please like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for supporting Let's Talk About It Media 21. Note in the comments how you feel about Kim dating Pete. Are they on the downward spiral are they on the upward spiral? Do you agree? Disagree? Was it a good choice to date Pete Davis? Thanks for tuning in.